Hi, today I'm going to show you how to bake flatbreads. Okay, so I'll show you the ingredients we need. First of all, we need some flour, some yeast, some oil, I use olive oil, and a little bit of salt. And we also need some kitchen utensils or tools. For example, we need the rolling pin for rolling. We need a bowl to mix the ingredients in. We need a jug so we can get the correct amount of liquid. And also, we need some scales so we can weigh the flour. First of all, we have to mix the flour, the yeast the, and the salt together. I use uh, a mixture of flour. I use wholemeal flour and plain flour. So in 500 grams. So first of all, I'm going to weigh out 250 grams of wholemeal flour. 250 grams of plain flour, then one teaspoon of yeast. You add the yeast to make the, the bread rise. It has a chemical reaction with everything else. And uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt. That seems like a lot. Well, it, it makes a lot of bread. Okay. Okay. Then I mix all this together. Mm -hmm. And then I add 325 milligrams of warm water. It has to be warm. Why does it have to be warm? I think it helps the chemical reaction to right. take place. And a little bit of olive oil. Okay, now I'm going to mix all that together with my hands. Now, I've mixed all the ingredients together. And, and this is called dough. A mixture of flour and water is called dough. It's what we make the bread with. I'll first of all sprinkle a little bit of flour onto the work surface. Why do you do that? So that the uh, dough doesn't stick to the work surface. It's very sticky. Mm -hmm. So now the thing that I have to do is I have to knead the bread, which is squash it, press it together like this, pushing your thumbs into the bread. Mm -hmm. Hard work, you know. <laughs> yeah, but not that hard. Ten minutes later, Okay, so that's the dough. I've rolled it into a ball. It's red, ready. So the only thing I've got to do is put a little bit of olive oil in the bowl and roll the dough in that so it's, so it's coated in olive oil. Then cover that with a cloth and leave it in a warm place for about an hour until the dough has risen. Now, as you can see, the, the ball of dough has got bigger. It's risen. It's, it's about two times bigger than it was before. Now, this will make about eight flatbreads. So I'll just make it flexible again. So break it into pieces, say about the, about the size of a golf ball. So make a ball about that big. That's a big golf ball. Do you play a lot of golf? <laughs> it's a bit more like a tennis ball to me, but never well, mind. Okay. So then, put that on the worktop and try and make a round piece of bread. Okay. With the rolling pin, I want to make the, squash the bread to make it bigger so it's nice and thin. Mm -hmm. Now, because these are flat breads, we don't cook them in the oven. I'm going to cook them in a pan, but with no oil, in this frying pan. So you have to get the pan very hot. Okay, that's cooked now. It's brown on both sides. So I'll put it on the plate. Lovely. Nice and golden brown. Bit of a funny shape. 